vibration again. It's a family event to all welcome all kings and queens, our royal empresses. You know, you know, you know. Yeah man, of course you know how such a caters to the wider community and we are very proud to host again the Yashima Bet along with how such a yeah, this here day for our kind shakes. I want the ones in for our standing. I had I played some selections representing the shot of the island version. From day one of the burning room. So I had I for some this is the burning room. Continually, from continually. You see what I said? Yes, I. So we give thanks to the Oh, it's you, my lord. It's you. So we give thanks to the Lord. Sister Aisha. Yes, yeah, 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 Sister Jim. There's so many years. So much of them. Everything <laughs> blessed, man. Give thanks. I don't know what I said. See? No, I have it. One African community. See? Rastafari. So we give thanks to the vibration of the ones who make this possible again. The planning committee. So many names to call. Those. Don't say yo. I really can. I love that, you know? See? Oh, I got the drummers them in the space, them I give you a vibration too. So, yeah man, I could just continue. Give thanks, ancients, love, honor, and respect. Aye, aye. Especially when I do our surgery. Especially when I do one of the Rastafari come. Push that, yeah, man. Give a it's a nine. Breadlocks, oh, yeah. yeah. Breadlocks. Breadlocks. The article dreadlocks. And again, this is Ayad Radio. Ancients, give thanks. <laughs> Yeah, man, one of the ancients know, say, if they want more sip, you know. More sip, they're there for the eye, them in the fire. See, so any ancient, you know, ones when they decide to you know, send forward them cup or send forward a message. Yeah, man, just go and sip, man. As I tell you, you now, to bring it a far away, you know, so the baton thing, so we deal with it, you know, generational wealth and, you know, health and all these things. Aye, 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 aye. We have won a lot of victories, but um, the race is not to come. We are here to prepare, but now is the time that we must celebrate our victory. If we don't celebrate our victory, we will always become like some fool, fool people like who we are. They don't celebrate our victory, man. Then what will be? There's no more at all in the world if you don't celebrate your victory alone or set your will. So this is what the world is waiting for. 
This is what the world is waiting for. Me and Sean, the Rasta man in Jamaica. Yes, I. And here, sister, see it, sir, show, say, yo, this is how I'm moving, actually, you know, celebrating and serving through the cream, the Rastafari cream. So all the eye checks and today we we'll cater for you. Again, we're asking any eye check that they're on, man, just feel comfortable for ask one. If you want some water, or you want some more sip, or you want anything we want, you know what I mean? We try to facilitate it once it has to do with Rastafari as usual, our liberty, our strength, see? So again, we call on the one now, ancient Bunny Wheeler, with this track. Again, from the Black Art Man, give that. Get yourself together, you know. But we're burning room, right? See the old bass line, the old bass line there. So that every family have hundreds and thousands of seeds just growing up like a bush. And they know you can distribute them on to Gully Bank, open lot, anywhere. We need to recover the earth, and the recovering of the earth is not first for you. It is first for the other, the vegetation. Cover the earth. We bring it back to its original vegetation. Then you supply all the animal forms. Then you supply the human beings. Because you can't have lots of children and don't have lots of vegetation. Or else you don't have nothing to, to give them. Right? So that's the first thing. Out of that, we then teach them how to process all the vegetation. Whether it's trees, herbs, shrubs, grass, every single item we teach them how to make 10 to 15 products out of every single item the item i chose was moringa some 30 years ago i make 40 therapeutic products out of moringa that reverse everything you can do the same with the other girl honorable high priest emmanuel in celestia has got to go into their own geniuses and see where, which one you want to use lemongrass, you want to whatever grow around you, and in different countries have different things. So it is always prolific and available. You are not using any kind stuff. You are using the natural growth that grows naturally in the environment to build our legs. Now, after you move from using those things for your Bless the love of family. How you see the care there? Loving it first time. I love it. Loving it. Loving it. Loving it you know? right. That's the fire every time. Uh, he he practices natural medicine, herbal healing. Let's welcome Priest Kailash, please. This is the right honorable Priest Kailash visiting us. He's here this evening to share his knowledge and he's going to be consulting with some of the ancients among us today. So give thanks, Priest Kailash. Give thanks on the level. Yeah? Rastafari. Yeah. Yeah. Um, to give thanks for life and a mighty life giver and give thanks definitely um, for the opportunity to be in the presence of the elders and to be able to actually give a level of service you know, to the forerunners, the people who actually um, build a foundation that younger people like myself would actually walk upon. 
As the Honorable Sister, Sister said, I am from St. Lucia, and I am here particularly to actually begin a work in Jamaica, continue working in Jamaica. Because as Rastafari, we have been the, the forerunners to, to wellness, and it is important that we maintain that level of purity and that level of example. So today, what I will be doing is um, spending a moment. I've, I've brought up some specific medicines that I will be distributing, and we wanted to just focus on primarily colon cleansing. So one of our products called the Free Up Laxative, which basically deals with the purging and the cleaning of the intestines. The, the colon is basically your, the digestive system. Is It's critical that we actually maintain a clean gut. You know, most times people eat three, four, five times a day. And they probably go to the toilet probably once every other day or once or twice a week. You know, as a man, if you are a man, you must understand that the, 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 the rectum is extremely close to the prostate. And not because we are Rastafari, that means that we are safe from prostate cancer. Because prostate cancer comes from plenty different what we refer to as environmental intoxicants. Normally when you go to the doctor to just examine the prostate, the doctor might ask you to um, stoop down and push their fingers in your anus and try to press down upon the prostate. And I know that plenty men have had to go through this humiliating experience. Right? And the reason why they have to do that is because of the proximity, how close the prostate gland is to the rectum. So if it is that you are a man and then you don't go to the toilet every day, when you're constipated, what's happening is that the feces in your, in your rectum literally presses up against the prostate and causes an inflammatory reaction to the prostate. So you must understand that when you free up, when you defecate, it doesn't smell good. Does it smell good? No. Now, if it is that it doesn't smell good, where does it come from? From outside? From inside of you. So the feces from inside of you smells so bad that after you defecate, you have to spray some air freshener or you even shave it with the public space. So if it is that it is inside of you and it smells that bad, you must understand what effect it has upon your physical structure if you allow it to stay inside there for two days, three days, four days, and you don't free up. So freeing up, having a laxative, drinking some bitters, these things they are critical to maintain prostate health and even to just be um, wholesome. Because your gastrointestinal tract, your intestines, your small intestines, and your large intestines is a brain of all, all by itself. So if you are constipated, not likely you'll be depressed and you'll be sad. So today we, we brought up about probably about a 20, 20 something um, free up laxatives. So we can actually give to the elders so at least they could, they could cleanse out their physical structure. The free up laxative contains what you call ginger, it contains senna, it contains neem, it contains dandelion root, castor oil, olive oil, and coconut oil. It's a, it's a product that you're supposed to just drink the entire bottle one hour after your last feast and three hours afterwards if you feel like passing gas you have to hold on you know because you might mess up your bed you know <laughs> plenty of people mess up themselves seriously right so this is an ancient tradition so it is something that you're supposed to do at least once every three months and if it is that you have prostate problems you have diabetes you have high blood pressure Right, you are obese, it's something you could do even once a month. Just take a time out, get some bitters, and flush out your physical structure. One of the other products that we have for you is um, the, the urinary cleanse. It's a capsule. It's a capsule that you take basically for those elders who might have a swollen, swollen feet, those people who might have high blood pressure, those people who might have difficulty in urinating. And what it contains is a herb called Spanish needle, stinging nettle, right? And also it contains um, vervine and a herb called seed on the leaf, what they call um, small tamarind. It's a herb that grows wild around the place. Now this, this combination is what you call a natural diuretic. So it helps to remove kidney stones if the kidneys are congested. You know, and you have a couple hundreds of it. So what we might need is that for the people who might have um, difficulty in urinating, those might have high blood pressure, right? 
We have them in, in um, big packets. So we might need some smaller packets so that we could actually distribute to the people who might need um, some to take to just keep their blood pressure regulated, bring down the swollen feet. You know, if they have prostate problem, help to, to urinate properly. Whatever that we are giving you are, are medicines that have been proven to be very effective. Even people who have, like, another one for the man would be the, the prosperity. We have other 40 prosperity that we are actually giving away also. And that one is designed specifically for prostate problems. And this, the combination of the laxative, the prosperity, the urinary cleanse, and also a proper lifestyle. That's a combination will actually reverse prostate cancer in plenty of men. Right, so you don't have to allow yourself to get prostate cancer. You don't have to allow yourself to get diabetes. You don't have to die from diabetes or the, or the, or the consequences of diabetes. What you must do, you must maintain that liberty, that primary liberty. So even as I look around, you know, all right, what we must understand is that the ancient tradition of the Rasta man, of the incense, we call it the Yabapot. You know what you know, the Yabapot? The clay pot. Right, so the clay pot is, is one of the ancient traditions that we have to get hold to again. Because even the majority of the pots that we have are aluminum pots. Now, aluminum is known to actually cause mental retardation. Aluminum is, called, is, is known to give breast cancer. So, if it is that you are cooking your food in aluminum pot and non stick pots, that means that every single day, when you're scraping up the bottom of the pot and you're boiling the food in the pot, you are poisoning yourself. So the ancient tradition of the Rasta man is a tradition we're supposed to actually embrace. When you look at the tradition of the steam pipe, the steam pipe and the chalice, right? If you look at the split, the split burning is something that has given a lot of elders, a lot of Rastafari, uh, what they call um, chronic obstructive pulmonary disorder, what they call COPD. So COPD is chronic, meaning that it is something that has been happening to you over 10 years, 20 years, 50 years. Obstructive means that it obstructed a particular part. Respiratory, what is obstructed is your respiratory system. So when you have COPD, that means that you are drowning in your own mucus. Right, so if you take two steps, you have to stop and you have to You have to go, you have an oxygen mask. And most of the time it's because of our habits of, of mixing ganja with grabba. Right, smoking the spliff. Now, if you smoke five spliffs a day, five spliffs a day, every day for a year, and let's just say even if a year has 365 days, Let's just say I have 300 days. If you smoke five splits a day for 300 days, five times three is what? 50. 15. So that means that you have spoken, you have spoken 1,500 splits. If you take 1,500 paper, you wrap it up and you smoke it, it's going to choke you and kill you. So it doesn't mean that because you smoke the split one at a time, that is not poisoning your physical structure. So it is imperative that as Rastafari, the ancient tradition of the elders, even I as a youth, that is what I come to actually um, speak about and, 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 and prove that the way of the elders is the way that we're supposed to embrace, right? And also put the science to it and economically utilize it for our own upliftment. And even if you are using a chalice, it is important to clean out the chalice. Right, because after every two or three days, put it in some hot water, boil it down, you know, wash out with some alcohol because of the mold, right, the fungus that builds up inside of it so you can pollute your lungs. So COPD means that your lungs that's supposed to be nice and spongy and absorbent is actually turning into concrete. So then you really cannot absorb oxygen. All right, so it is important, very critical that we embrace our ancient Rastafari culture because that is what the world is actually going towards now. So now everybody's banning plastic cups and styrofoams and everybody's going to paper. 
when the Rasta man was using his calabash long time ago. But the Rasta man now don't even use his own calabash again. Right, so we have to embrace the knowledge of the ancestors. You have to embrace the ancient tradition and that is what is going to help us to naturally eradicate our diseases. And trust me, um, this is something that we have seen wherever that we have traveled and the people we have worked with that the, what the world is is the, the practices of the ancient Bingy man, right? The, the, the raw food man, the Aital man, the, 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 the river water, the rain water drinking man, or the Zion water drinking man, the steam pipe man, the chalice man. And we have to embrace all these things to, to boost up ourselves and naturally eradicate our disease. So give thumbs again. I'll be at the tent over there. I am um, just saying people one other time. And as we see, we will be able to give you some of our, our medicines. And one thing that we have to, to just make you understand is that whatever we are giving to you and we have brought from St. Lucia for you are things of high value. Right? So our laxative is not something that is for free. You know, if you go on our website, it costs 70 US. You know, the, 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 um, the prosperity costs about 60 US. Right, the, the urinary recluse cost the same. So as Rastafari, we deserve the best. So it's not like we are coming and going to give you something that is less. So when you receive the, the products, don't just take it and put it on a shelf. Right, because trust me, right, it is something that, even some of what I bring is something I took out of a box and going to ship to some other country. So when you take it, ensure that you utilize it. And utilize it in the understanding that it is coming from St. Lucia of his love, from the Honorable Priest. Give them. Alright, I'm going to make to make me. I'm going 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 to make because earlier doctor was talking about that seed and the seed is so important so mess up DJ Marshmallow let's drop my point when you come and go and play some positive music see so this one name I see it said I was buried alive but I am still breathing I was thrown into the river Nile I survived. Give a thanks, honorable. What do I name, big brother? Rastan. How did I decide to hear this? I was able to see tomorrow. We give thanks to the sun and the sea. And we shore. give thanks to the they elders. It's a balance with the the communication of the elders. Fire burning all around me. Mm -hmm. no, it thing. was a disaster. Yeah. I made it out just like. Well, I look a, a little sound. I transform like a caterpillar. Sting in it from here. And the sting in it. Surely I will so never know. I, I can tell of the creation story. And story. the person I will be in the head. I saw uh, your glory. health is your responsibility. Face with constipation, hibernation, ejaculation. Yet still, it was possible for matriculation, rising to the occasion to feed the nation. There is a place between earth and space where water evaporates to help me rejuvenate. Let peace be on earth and let it begin with me. Point, bless it. What do you think about the care day, big brother? Yeah, now you're Rastafari first and foremost. So because look everything possible, you know? I see everyone has to know why this class is, you know? And also, what is the eye name? My name alone. I am Rastafari, you know? I am a liberated space traveler. I travel in the area I want to go and hear the kind of man we didn't see. You know what yeah? So I'm on travel speed up for light and sound. Zin and words, you know? So I travel right now at the speed of this daycare center. You know what I'm saying? Which involves words and music and all that. So you know what I'm saying? Alright. I love the vibration because wellness and going wellness centers are going to be so important in this time. All round well, physical health, you know? Mm -hmm. And mental wealth, you know? Yeah? And it's all you nice as man transcend. 
-hmm. From the physical to the mental to the metaphysical, it argues very nicely, you know. Yeah. Okay, so I'm see the Rastafari nation and the move, you know, see, yeah? Yes, and me like the improvement, you know. Give thanks. We still have your work against the seven deadly sins though. Like the iron person, jealousy and anger, you know, and greed and all. We have to work against them things there, you know. Yes, yes. But that part of that man, I mean, I mean, bless you. Yes, Greetings, Empress. What is your name? I am Daughter Shelly. And could you tell me how you saw today's care day? Oh, it's, it's a glow. It's so good to give back and to honor the creed. So I see the elders getting royal treatment in every aspect. So I'm glad to be here, my first time here. I won't, won't be the last. I kind of am aware that you do some care for the elders as well. Yes, I do. Tell me a little bit about it. Okay, well what I do, I try to visit them at home. Give them a, give them a package, sometimes we can give them some expense money and so forth. We also added some of the Nyabingi gatherings. We do some things like this, hair washing, massage, manicure, pedicure, also giving them a care package. Reason for me doing such, the government of Jamaica and other businesses in Jamaica, when they do care packages and care days, they cater for what we call the barley people. So they don't look for the rest of family who has contributed so much to the culture of Jamaica. So therefore, we as the rest of family have to look out for our own. So that's why we do care packages, care days for the rest of elders and family, and we do back to school packages for our children. Excellent. Thank you so much, Empress. Yes. Running. Greetings, Empress. What is your name? Sister May. Sister May, could you tell us more about the care day? Ah, oh, well, the care day. program that we got out in the um, community bringing our elders um, and wash the locks, do their feet. We try and get in a doctor, a herbalist doctor, medical doctor, nurse to do blood sugars, blood pressure and things like that. Um, and then the day, as you all can see, it's a family day. Family day, big time. You know, so we have children as well as young people that is all taking part in this program. But at the end of the day, it's hard work. You know, it's very hard yes, work. Yes, I, I, we've seen you working all day today. Could you tell us a little more about the organization that plans this event? Um, we are called Yashima Bed Holistic Care. Um, we've only been operating with this name now for about two years. No, three years, sorry, three years. Um, and Yashima Bet, of course, is the mother of Hail Selassie the first. Um, so it's very important, you know, for us to make this thing work, you see, because it's honoring his majesty plus the woman that bring him into the world, you see. Um, so yeah, that is... You seem to have a lot of support here today. Wait, yeah. Wait, how, wait. how did you manage to pull that together? No, the thing is that we, um, have got a lot of support. One of the reasons are that we have support yes from the community, but another reason is that we have a priest, herbalistic priest doctor from St. Lucia, who is visiting Jamaica. He's actually given us three hours of his time to see our elders. And of course, people in Jamaica heard that he's gonna be here. Um, and people are so concerned about health. So, you know, they all come here and want to see him to hear what to do, you know, so that's, but normally though, we have a lot of support. Thank you so much for your time. That's okay. Blessings. Thanks. Give thanks.